Alright guys, so this is going to be a video on how I got the flames on this cup here. Uh, so I'm going to do a little intro here of how the cup looks. Uh, this is it when it's done, and then I'm going to show um, other videos after this on how I did the process, but I'm just going to talk a little bit about the prepping of this cup because it's actually pretty, pretty important. Um, the same goes with every single cup um, that I do. Uh, you can see here I have the 1.4. 4G explosive G1 sign. That's a firework sign for 1.4 consumer fireworks. And you can see how nice um, it came off when I took the, the vinyl off. You can see how sharp those lines are. You don't get any kind of um, peeling of paint or uh, you know having to score the, the vinyl uh, because you can't get to it. Um, two of the things that's really important that I've learned um, from taking the vinyl off nice, which is always nice to take crisp clean lines off the cup. You know, it shows that the cup it looks a little bit more professional uh, when you have it. I even have this small one down here, which is 3G explosives. It's really, really small. And look at this little... If you look up the sign, it looks just like that. It came off very good. All these little spots um, that the vinyl was not there stayed on the cup, which is pretty amazing. Okay, two things is the right paint when you put it on and letting the paint dry. Very important. I think I let this stay on for about two days before I pulled the vinyl off. Um, and the primer that I'm using here is the Dual Spray by Krylon. Uh, you can get it at Walmart. Um, I don't think you can get it at Home Depot. Um, but the place I get it from is from Walmart. It's down the block for me. Um, mostly everybody has a Walmart near them. Get it there. They have different types of spray, but this one is the dual. It's got a bonding agent in it, so it sticks to the cup very good. So when you pull the, the vinyl off in small little strands like this, the paint stays on the cup. And it doesn't pull the paint. All right, so, um, all right, so this is, I came back. I did the steps I did here. The first one was orange. I'm sorry. The first one was yellow. You'll see. I put the vinyl stencil on uh, yellow, and the second stencil was orange, so I just brought the stencil up half an inch, about, did the orange, then brought it up again, and did the red. Okay, and then I went back with a paint marker and highlighted some of the areas, just to highlight it a bit. I just did very, very little. Um, the other thing is when you're doing the flames, I used a cutting machine. Uh, I've been doing these cups for a while, and I bought myself a silhouette machine. I used to do all my vinyl cutouts by hand. I used to draw it on a piece of vinyl and cut it out with an X-Acto knife or a scissor or something like that. Um, so you could do that with the flames. You don't need the machine. So you could go to a Walmart also. Um, they have sheets of vinyl that have a sticky backing on it. You could draw flames on it. And then cut it out with a scissor. You know, I do three different sets for three different colors. You know, just make sure you get enough to go around the whole cup. All right, for this one, I have a silhouette machine, which costs about a hundred bucks, and um, it's great. I mean, I use it for for everything. Um, if you have a hundred bucks to spend, I would definitely go out and get that machine if you plan on doing. Um, not just cups, but you could do a lot of different stuff with it. You could do cardstock with it. Uh, you could even do t-shirts with it. So it's a great machine to have. All right, so this is it. I'm gonna get into the videos to show you how I got this. Um, but this is pretty much flames on a tumbler. All right, let's get into the to the video. If you have any questions, write them below. And if you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe for up and coming new videos. Thanks for watching. Super Bond paint is the best thing to use when you're putting 
um, the cups underwater or putting it, you know, uh, paint on top of it and putting epoxy, whatever you put on top of it or whatever the process is, this dual super bond paint is just great. It sticks very good to the stainless steel and makes a very good um, canvas for when you're ready to paint it, whether you're hand painting it, paint markers, paint, dipping it, hydro dip, whatever it is. This stuff is really good. All right, so we're going to use this black Super Bond paint, which is in a satin finish. I'm going to prime the whole thing. I have the vinyl on here already. So that when I'm done with the cup, I can pull the vinyl off and you'll see the stainless steel behind it. But I'm going to use the Super Bond dual paint uh, to prime the whole cup first. And then we're going to put flames on it. And the flames are going to come up from the bottom up to the top. They're going to stop right about here, right above the, the crazed. And the rest up here is going to stay black. And then we're going to epoxy the whole cup. All right, so when I come back, uh, the whole cup will be parmed black. I'll have to let it sit overnight um, before I put the flames on it. So I'll spray it now. And um, we'll let it sit overnight. Alright, so I'm getting ready to put the flames on. Um, I have the red, yellow, and orange. Um, these cans are called Shortcuts by Krylon. Um, I like the Krylon because it dries fast. Um, after I spray the flames on here, which I have over here, which are small cutouts that my machine cut out, um, cut out flames. see him here but they're probably in my bin um, so anyway you'll see him once I spray it I'll show you how I spray it uh, you'll see the white vinyl on there which is a template for the flames I have the vinyl on here once I pull this off um, you'll see the stainless steel underneath this is a firework 1.3 G explosive sign it says pyro craze there and then over here is a 1.4 explosives sign, um, which is for fireworks transportation. Uh, once you pull that off, there should be silver underneath. All right, here's the yellow um, base spray. Uh, this is the first step. Then I'm going to do orange. So I'm going to take this off. Uh, wait for it to dry. Take this off. Reapply a different vinyl. Do the orange. Wait for that to dry. Take the vinyl off. Reapply a new vinyl and do the red. 
Um, so this is just the first step. And apply the orange and then the red. Alright, so this is how the first part of the flames look, um, which is the yellow ones. Um, after this, I'm definitely going to highlight everything after the orange and the red goes on uh, with paint markers. I have yellow, orange, and red paint markers just to highlight the outside of the flames, just to give it more of a, a three-dimensional look. All right, so here's the yellow, and then I'm going to go back and do the orange, um, and then the red. Okay, so this is how the cup looks um, after the three colors are applied, the yellow, orange, and the red. Um, like I showed you in step one, um, spraying the yellow on there. Um, when I did the orange, I just lifted the stencil up just about maybe a half an inch. And then after the orange was done, after that dried, I lifted the stencil up just about a half an inch just for the red. And so, there you go, you got your different. I pulled the vinyl off for the stencil already and the tape off so you could see how it looks um, after it's done. Now I'm going to take a paint marker and highlight some of the areas. Here I'm going to blacken this up and this and put some orange in there and maybe some yellow. So I'm going to do some highlighting on this. All this on the bottom we're going to make black. I'm going to outline it with the black marker and then drag it with my finger up to kind of fade it. As you can see I did with these two here like this. I'm going to take this paint marker up and then just drag it up this way so it's faded just like that. Alright so I'm going to go around the whole cup and do this black and then take my finger and drag it up as you can see it pokes a little hole in this finger so that I can pull the paint Okay, just like that. Alright, so after I do all this black, I'm going to do some here too. 